Okay, this is going to be a review on the NVIDIA Shield console. So, actually, I just realized right now that I actually have my uh, my tablet control. You can tell right here from the from the icons on this one, but uh, whatever, it'll do. Um, for the people who have noticed, uh, there's actually on the on the new controller, there's a circle instead of like the little house looking icon right there. So that's the NVIDIA Shield right there. That's the NVIDIA Shield console. And this is the interface. So this is it. This interface is like uh, anything else. Uh, before you ask, no, I do not have super user. I don't actually have U, uh, root. Um, I just installed the APK. So please don't ask me uh, questions on how to root since I actually did not root it. This video is actually going to be showing you um, how to install Kodi on this uh, uh, on this box. And there's a couple ways that you can do it. Um, if you go online, uh, go to the Play Store, uh, type in ES File Explorer and then go to install and as long as you've logged in with that account that you're on the computer with uh, the same account that's on this uh nvidia shield then you can uh, remotely install uh, es file explorer uh, from there if you go into es file explorer um you can connect the usb which i think that'll work um i haven't actually tried that but on the when i had the forge um there is a little option on here that said like usb when i went under local uh, let me dang it. So if I go in here, if you put a USB, there's this little piece that, that comes down here that says like mount USB. You can always do it that way. Um, another way is uh, if you go down even more, if you go under network, you can always go under cloud. And then down here, you can, um, I, I map my OneDrive account. So if you go down here, you go to new, you can map to your Google Drive, your uh, OneDrive, um, what is the other one called? Dropbox, <laughs> the big one, the Dropbox. Uh, and then if you go in here, then uh, anything you upload to your account, any APKs or anything like that, as you can see right here. Uh, these are actually the applications I was using to try to root it and it doesn't work. Uh, King root or ping pong root, um, neither one of them work. Um, and then if I go under apps, you can actually select the APK Let's say I wanted to install. Oh, this thing's being very sensitive right now. Let's say I wanted to install this benchmark tool. You click on it, let it run for a little bit while it downloads the files. So this method is use ES File Explorer. Go on the on the Play Store uh, website. Uh, use ES File Explorer and then um, transfer. Um, well, have it remotely install uh, the application. Um, and then you would go inside ES File Explorer once it is installed, and then you either mount a USB to the to the device, uh, a USB thumb drive or flash drive or whatever you decide to call it, and then install the APK that way. Or the way I actually prefer is using a TeamViewer. Um, so I'm gonna go to TeamViewer, and it's gonna give me this uh, this ID. And then if I go on my computer, I type in that exact same ID. And I'm sorry if you can't really see that. There it is. Connect. Uh, we'll just disclaimer there since this is actually personal use, not it, it's detecting it's it's thinking that this is a corporate um, environment, which is not. So I just select allow. And then once I go in here, I can actually go under um, file transfer. And then let's say I wanted to, um, so over here on the right hand side, this is the, um, uh, what do you, this is the NVIDIA Shield um, file system. Sorry about that. So in here, I actually would be able to just uh, drag and drop a file from my computer. My computer's on the left hand side. And um, so all I have to do is just grab a APK. So I'll, I'll put Kodi 14.2. Uh, and then just wait for the thing to transfer over. And then once it transfers over, if you have ES File Explorer, you can um, go to this directory, which is, I think I dropped it in the downloads folder, in the download folder. So because I down, I dropped it in the download folder, oh, you can tell right there too. Because I put it in the download folder, you can just navigate to that directory using ES File Explorer. Or if you actually have a mouse, I have a, a Melee uh, Pro. So you can always click on it and then it'll say, um, if this is the first time you clicked on an APK, it'll give you the thing where um, you have to um, allow unknown, um, unknown sources. 
once you go through all that, if you click on it again, uh, keep in mind the only way you can click on it is if you actually have a, either a mouse directly connected to the um, to the NVIDIA Shield or if you use uh, something that emulates a mouse click. And then once you do that, um, you just can hit done or open. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go under, um, because I removed Kodi from my uh, from my device so I can show you guys how to actually install it. Um, but I didn't want it to delete all my um, uh, all my settings. So what I did was I renamed this folder to Kodi 2. That way it would not do that. So I'll rename it back. And once I do that, if we go down here, as you can tell right here, see now there's Kodi right here. And what, what I like about this one that um, the Forge TV didn't have is once you use an application, it moves it forward. So if I go over here and I go to Team Viewer, see how Cody's currently in the front? If I go to Team Viewer, and now let me exit Team Viewer, that's fine. Now that one becomes in the front, which I love that because before I would use Cody and I would have to keep scrolling to the right. So now that I go on Cody and I rename my folder so it's going to pick up all my old settings, or at least it should. Oh, yeah, and I still have the Fire TV thing because it uh, I just migrated all my settings. So in here, um, it, you know, it works. It's really fast. Oh, one thing I did notice is with this Mealy Pro, um, when I connect it to the back of the um, of the device right here, when I connect it to the back, it actually um, disables the, the audio. So for those that have one of those like little um, USB devices that are like a keyboard and a mouse, just... Um, Look, look out for that. If you notice that your audio drops, it's probably because of that. So now um, I can actually show you one of these movies. Let's go under. Um, you know what? Let's go to Transformers. That's probably the best. Come on. Oh, you know, Toy Story is actually another good one. Uh, sure. Resume. And this is, uh, if I click on this, if you're using Cody with this uh, controller, hit the um, this like little play button, and it kind of gives you where you're at. This is actually kind of cool. I never noticed that it actually did this before. Uh, I don't use 4.2 often, so I wonder if this is a new feature in 4.2. What actually tells you that if you continue watching it, this is the time that you would be ending the movie at. So again, this is a 1080p file, uh, DTS. Oh, and DTS currently actually doesn't work on this build, so I don't know if that's a NVIDIA problem or if Cody's gonna be able to address that, but right now, um, if I go under the, and I had the same issue with the Forge, and which is actually really irritating, uh, since I thought this wasn't gonna have the problem, because the, the Nexus player is able to play these files just fine. So if I go under System, and then you go under here, Audio Output, if I switch this to 5.1, uh, and then enable uh, pass-through, uh, all I get is static from my AV receiver, which is down there. So currently, uh, all DTS, uh, True HD, uh, DTS HD, and uh, AC3 or doubly digital, um, all of that's coming out through stereo right now in my, uh, in my living room. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, I was hoping that they were going to have it off the, you know, uh, when they came to market. Again, the Nexus player has it. Uh, the Fire TV has it. Even this crappy um, device from the Open Open Hour, the Open Hour Chameleon. Um, even that has it. And that's running some um, some Chinese uh, chip in there, or SOC on there. Um, so I was a little upset that all those have uh, pass through working, um, and this one doesn't. But again, you know, this device just came out. So, uh, but I'm actually very surprised how quickly this thing um, is able to play files and these are movies that are that are 15 to 20 gigs so the toy story 3 actually wasn't that big because that one's uh usually uh, animated films even if you get really high quality ones are not that are not that big so let's go to age of extinction and i know you can't really see that on this uh in this youtube video right now but this looks really clear this probably has given me the best picture i have ever seen on this tv so I don't know if that's some sort of placebo effect, but I can definitely tell that there's a difference between this and uh, 
I had the Nexus player connected in here just because the Forge wasn't giving me the Dolby Digital and because of Netflix. So, um, yeah, I mean, I ended up buying uh, three Forge TVs and then placing them around the house and then using uh, HD Home Run Prime to feed them all cable feeds. Um, yes, I still pay for cable. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm going to end up replacing all those with, uh, with NVIDIA Shields. I think I'm just going to return all three Forge TVs. Uh, maybe keep one of them. Uh, definitely going to return two. Um, and then you know, buy the, uh, buy the NVIDIA Shield, especially right now since the NVIDIA Shield is giving you $30 of Google Play credit. And it comes with a controller, you know, so right now that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Also, another thing, if you wanted to use a remote, though, um, I don't have it near me right now and I don't really want to go to the room to grab it, but I was actually using a Fire Stick uh, remote, not the Fire uh, TV remote. Don't use a $30 remote. Uh, the one with the voice feature on it because that one will not pair with this device but uh i do have a a fire stick remote right now and if you buy those on amazon you can buy the replacement ones for like 15 dollars. so uh it is definitely good if you wanted to use it for uh uh for cody especially since this uh you don't want to drain the controller or it's just you know you don't want to constantly have this controller on so uh definitely fire tv stick uh remote is my um it's my choice right now until um, my uh, NVIDIA Shield remote comes, which was, it's actually way more expensive. That was $40, and the Fire TV stick is uh, 15 So I might leave the, the Fire TV stick, uh, you know, just for everybody else who uses it. That way they don't break the $40 or remote. Anyways, uh, that's my review. Uh, well, that was me showing you how to install Kodi on the NVIDIA Shield in a quick little preview of, uh, of Kodi playing some uh, MKV files at 1080p. All right, thank you.